This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says if a house sold for $480,000 and the realtor received a $31,200 commission, what percentage of the selling price did the realtor earn? So in this case, we're going to take the fraction uh, 31,200 over 480,000, reduce it as much as possible, and then convert it to percent. And I want to point this out. Anything over 100 can be quickly converted to percent mentally. So 5 over 100 is simply 5%. 2 over 100 is 2%. We're going to use this fact later on. Let's start reducing this one by crossing out corresponding zeros accordingly. This becomes 312 over 4,800. Now, I'm going to take a stab in the dark and say 312 and 48 have a common factor of 12. Let's start with the denominator. Uh, 48 divided by 12, well, that's 12, 24, 36, 48. This is going to be 4. So 4,800 divided by 12 is going to be 400. And if you can't see that 312 is divisible by 12, you can always do the long division. Uh, 12 goes into 31 two times without going over. Uh, 12 times 2 is 24. Uh, 31 minus 24 is going to be 7. Drop down this 2. Uh, 12 times 6 is 72 with no remainder. So we've already reduced this to be 26 over 400. And both of these have a common factor of 2. 26 divided by 2 is 13. You should be able to do that mentally. 400 divided by 2 is going to be 200. Now, of course, I mentioned that we want to write this with a denominator of 100 so we can quickly do uh, the conversion to a percent. So I'm going to divide this by 2 and this by 2. This becomes 100. And what is 13 divided by 2? You should be able to do that mentally, but if you can't do the long division off to the side, uh, 2 goes into 13 uh, 6 times without going over. 2 times 6 is going to be 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. Let's add a decimal and a zero placeholder. Bring the decimal into our answer. Drop down this 0. 2 times 5 is exactly 10 with no remainder. So we can see this becomes 6.5 over 100. Uh, converting to that, that type of percent is very easy. It's going to be 6.5%. So the answer to this one is D, 6.5%.